welcome back all of you to the next session in the last video we have seen about stem and leaves isn't it now in this video i'll explain you the two major functions performed by leaves we know the two uh, important functions of leaves are first it helps in preparation of food and second it helps in the exchange of gases and water vapor with the surroundings so let us first see what how the food preparation takes place okay the process by which plants prepare food is known as photosynthesis you all know this thing isn't it now photosynthesis it is the process by which plants prepare food in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll with the help of carbon dioxide and water okay now let's see leaves as we all know leaves contain chlorophyll isn't it because of which they are green in color this chlorophyll it traps the sunlight got it leaves also contain stomata very tiny pores isn't it so through these tiny pores the carbon dioxide from the atmosphere from the surrounding enters the leaf okay and the stem transports water and minerals to the leaf which is absorbed by the roots okay now when all these things comes together they undergo a reaction clear and the food is prepared the food which is prepared in the leaves is a simple sugar which is known as glucose now let us see first how the reaction takes place so carbon dioxide when reacts with water in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll <coughs> it forms sugar c6h12o6 okay this is the glucose along with this it gives out oxygen and this oxygen it comes out through the stomata to the surrounding okay which we take for breathing purpose and the extra water it is removed in form of water vapor in this way the food preparation takes place now the food is prepared in the leaves isn't it so that is transported to the entire body parts through the stem clear now the extra food which is which remains that is stored in different parts of the plant body such as roots leaves flowers fruits buds everywhere okay and the food the extra food which gets stored that gets stored in form of starch now the question may come in your mind what is starch so starch is a chemical which when reacts with the iodine solution okay it turns into blue black in color got it some activities are given in your book just go through it so i hope so this photosynthesis process is clear to all of you okay now let's see the second important function performed by leaf that is transpiration clear now transpiration is the process in which plants loses its extra water in form of water vapor and because of this transpiration process the plants gets a cooling effect okay when the water which is absorbed by the plants it is evaporated so what happens plants they feel or they get the cooling effect clear all of you photosynthesis and transpiration okay now let's see the next important part of the plant pot okay that is the flowers so fourth important part is the flowers as we all know flowers 
they are the attractive part of the plant body isn't it why because they are very colorful yes they gives a very nice odor and different varieties of flowers they are of different sizes and shapes isn't it so as a whole this flowers it makes the plant look very bright very attractive okay now flowers they are known as the reproductive part of the plant body why because flowers produces fruits yes and fruits they bear seeds and from that seed the new plant is grown isn't it so because of this flowers are called the reproductive part of the plant body okay flowers they contain a very sweet smell liquid okay do you know what is it known as it is known as nectar you must have seen butterflies honey bees and all they sit on the flower why to suck this nectar sweet smell liquid which is known as nectar clear okay the next part is the fruit from flowers fruits are produced okay now fruits they are also of different shapes and sizes okay the fruits they are very fleshy isn't it okay now some fruits they bear either single seed such as mango and some fruits they bear so many seeds in them yes such as apple papaya okay now these seeds what happen when they remain inside the fruit only they develop they take the nutritious material and they starts growing okay and when these seeds are shown they turn out into a new baby plant clear okay now the next part is the seed as i already said that seeds they grow in they are inside the fruit yes or no so children these seeds they develop a seed coat okay by taking the nutritious material when it is shown in the soil what happens after getting the proper amount of favorable conditions the seed coat breaks and it turns out into a baby into a seedling okay when this seedling gets all the warmth air minerals everything they grow into a baby plant okay now this baby plant when gets all the favorable conditions okay and all the essential things which are required for the plant to grow they turn out to be a mature plant okay they turn out to be a mature plant this entire process from seed to a baby plant a mature plant this entire process is known as germination of seed okay clear to all of you so in this way from seed a new plant is grown a new plant is formed clear okay i hope so all the parts of plant body is now very clear to all of you in the next video i'll discuss about the uses or the importance of plants okay thank you